Years ago, a friend who was a pastor told me about the thriving ministry his church had with middle and high school students. The only problem is that they wanted to take them places and they had no transportation. I saw him a few weeks later and he said, guess what? Somebody donated a bus. We've got transportation. And I said, why does God give you a bus? I didn't get a bus. And he said, hey, Tom, did you ask for a bus? And I said, no. He said, do you know the Bible passage that says, you have not because you ask not? He said, I have a bus because I prayed about the need and then I went to someone who has buses and I told them how I'd use the bus. I talked to students about students who would be on the bus and how these events would change their lives. And then I said to this person, would you be willing to donate a bus to this ministry? And Tom, that's how we got the bus. God doesn't just drop buses out of the sky. God will help you though, if you ask. He was thinking like a leader. He understood that a leader has the responsibility to gather the resources necessary to accomplish the goals that the leader and the organization are trying to accomplish. Successful leaders motivate the contribution of resources, of time, of talent, of service, and of financial resources. And they do that in at least three ways. First, they cast a vision that matters. People need to hear and see the why. Why are you trying to do the thing that you're encouraging them to do? What's important about it? Whose life is being changed? How does it relate to their faith in Jesus Christ? In what ways are you doing good? And in what ways are you doing good well? Because they want to know that they're maximizing their donations of, of their time or their talent or their gifts or their resources. Second, leaders do something else well. They encourage. Recently, I had met with a couple that um, had given money to a ministry and in Sierra Leone, Africa, there's a hospital there. It cares for people that wouldn't have care otherwise. And when the doctor of that hospital came to town, I made sure that the doctor and that couple got to sit down and talk about what their resources were doing. And when that was over and the doctor left the room, the couple turned to me and said, oh my goodness, we're so excited about this. Well, that's a couple that's probably gonna wanna do that again. And the reason is they were encouraged and they felt that they were really being good stewards of the resources that they were releasing into that ministry. Vision, encouragement, third example. People have to know that you as a leader are doing what you're asking them to do. So as a pastor, I never ask people to tithe if I wasn't tithing. I never ask them to give their time if I wasn't giving my time to the effort. And I, I would certainly never ask them to invest in other ways in something I wasn't invested in. Your example makes a big difference, and you've gotta be willing to talk about what you're doing to motivate them to do what they're doing. Sometimes we feel the left hand shouldn't know what the right hand is doing. I've actually found that if I'm just honest and say, hey, here's what I'm doing, my wife and I are doing, I'm asking you to do the same. It makes all the difference. Vision, encouragement, example. Three ways to unlock the resources you need. <music>